Let us discuss recovery in centralized DBMS. In our separate video, we have discussed what is a centralized DBMS, what is a distributed DBMS and so on. So now we will be concentrating that what are the different recovery tools are there with the help of which the system can get recovered whenever there will be some failure. So you see to implement database transaction in the field of failures using data redundancy may be in, in the fall following forms. So we are having three forms with the help of which you can issue this recovery in a centralized DBMS. Now the first one is the logs. So logs is nothing but one record against each and every transaction which will be holding multiple different data or information regarding the transaction. That is the start of the transaction, that is the trans uh, transaction's identification number, the record identification number, the operation what has been carried out by that particular transaction, whether it is insert or delete or update, what is the previous value that has got updated, what is the updated value of the particular field which the transaction has brought. So in this way, this log will contain so many different information regarding one transaction. So for each and every transaction issue, one log will be produced and that will be kept in the, in the corresponding memory. We are having these checkpoints. So checkpoint means after certain time interval, at the particular instant of time, all the logs which are now existing in the volatile memory will be saved back onto the stable storage. So what will happen if system crashes then the volatile memory content will get lost. So all the log information will be lost. So at that particular checkpoint when the checkpoint will be issued at that particular instant of time the current content of the logs residing in the volatile storage will be saved onto the stable storage. That is the checkpoint. Next one is your archival copies of the database. So now here we will be having implementation of stable storage, hierarchical stable storage. So, so archival copies of the database will be done implementation of storage hierarchies. So all these issues that is log checkpoints and this archival copies of the database we want to discuss in the separate videos in three separate videos for their detailed understanding. Please watch next videos where we are going to discuss all these three issues into more details. Thanks for watching this one.